everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I have the Sam's Beadbox monthly subscription for September 2022 for us to open up together. I will leave the link to this subscription down below and I also have a coupon code if you'd like to try this one out. You'll save $5 off your first box if you use the code ORCHID, O-R-C-H-I-D. And at this time, the box is around $45 per month, plus around $5 shipping if you're in the U.S. And they do ship to most areas of the world, so you can check out their website for the specific details on that. If you like check glass beads and some gemstone beads, you'll probably really like this box because it is full of those types of things every single month in a curated color palette and scheme that changes to something different each time. And as you can see, our theme for this month is called Forest Walk. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what kind of goodies are inside. So as usual, everything is in our bundle here. We'll take a close-up look at everything in just a moment. And we also have two inserts, one of which tells us everything that's going to be included inside of the box. And then the first part of the insert has some great information about the inspiration behind this theme. Don't forget that you can also check out Sam's Bead Shop to pick out lots of additional things above and beyond what come in this monthly subscription. Lots of beautiful things there. And you can sign up for text reminders and their weekly classes and live sales by going to joinsamsbeadshop.com. They always have something exciting going on, especially to go along with these monthly boxes. So let's take a peek inside of our bundle. And here is a look at how everything arrives, all safe and sound, and a loaded bundle here for us to check out. From the list of contents, it looks like we're going to be checking out like 25 different bags of items. So overall, that averages to approximately $2 per listing, just to give you an idea of a really rough cost breakdown. But right now, I'm going to get organized. That way, we can take a look at all of these items going down the list one at a time. All right, so we have a beautiful earthy and fall-like color palette overall for this forest walk theme. And we're going to start out with bag number one, which contains our check glass teardrops and striped amber mix. These are a six by nine and a half millimeter size and approximately 20 pieces inside of our bag. And here's a look at these fun teardrops. We have the hole that goes up and down through the length of the bead and that little ribbon of black swirling around from the top to bottom of the teardrop, each of those falling a little bit differently in these glass beads with that deep golden amber color at their base. Already getting into some of our gemstone beads, we have our second bag, which contains the Tiger Eye Faceted Rondelles. They are a four by six millimeter size, and this contains a seven and a half inch strand. Isn't that cut beautifully? It shows off all of those golden brown tones that are mixed in with the deeper, darker chocolate brown and almost black. You can see another earthy selection with these tiger eye beads. Yet we have the beautiful faceting that is going on all over the surface, which adds a beautiful level of sparkle. And they're already so interesting to look at in those spots, especially where you can see some of the light play going on in some of those golden brown areas. Our third bag contains some flat pair brios, and this is the Woodland Mix. It contains about 10 pieces of 12 by 18 of these pear-shaped beads. We have a lovely mix here. They're not all exactly the same, and you can see how some of them have a lot of additional colors and striations going on, some of the glass being a little bit more of a flat caramel color. 
And whenever I see this combination in Czech glass, it reminds me of a cup of coffee when you just pour the cream in and you get all those different colors showing up as the liquid starts to mix together. But overall, that caramelly color taking over for the most part. And you can see how we have the hole that runs through the top of these pear-shaped beads, which are also very flat and smooth and shiny. Bag number four contains some cowgirl flowers, they're called, in the crystal latte silk mix with a copper wash. They are an 11 millimeter size and there's 10 pieces in the bag. Those are so cute. Another shape of check glass flower. They're the same on both the front and the back. And what's interesting about these little flowers is they're actually a little bit more of a square shape than you usually see. As you can tell, they're sort of squared off, but still rounded at each of those four corners. And the hole runs up and down through the center of the bead. And just depending on where the glass settled in, you get some areas that are more opaque and some that are more transparent. In our fifth bag, we have some elephant beads in a copper wash over leather brown. They're an 11 by 15 millimeter size and there's six pieces included. This color combination reminds me of like a goldstone sort of feel, how it's got that really rich, deep, caramelly or toffee colored background, but you have that hint of golden shine, this time through the wash that settles into all of those details on the fronts and backs of the elephant beads with the hole that goes right across their body, just like that. And these are the same on both sides. Up next, we have a bag containing some check glass bicones. These are the eight millimeter size and there's about 30 pieces included. The color being called Smoky Topaz. So these definitely go along with the amber and topaz colored beads we've been seeing. These are darker as the name says, still letting some light through but bringing us a deeper, smokier shade of neutral to play around with. And these bicones, of course, are a pretty popular check glass shape, like the other faceted crystal bicones that we're used to seeing, except these are much more smoothed out and just give you that basic essence of the shape. And in bag seven, we start to bring in some reds with these check glass dragonflies, four pieces inside, and they're in red silk Picasso with a copper wash, and they are a 15 millimeter size in diameter. And here's a close up look at these beads with the red showing up in the background. It's a very deep, rich tone with the Picasso finish that adds that stone lake quality and actually a little bit of a greenish gray to that reddish color. These dragonflies, the shape of them is really rustic and kind of artsy, just a rendition of the dragonfly shape, which show up on both sides of the beads and they really allow that copper wash to bring out those details. Our eighth bag contains about 65 pieces of the Czech rice beads. These are in bronze luster and they're a three by six millimeter size. And you can see that beautiful luster coating that's very shiny and brings us a hint of a bronze metallic over the top of these beads, just kind of lightly dusted on there where you can still get a lot of the light coming through the glass. These are a smaller size than some of the beads we've seen so far and also offer us another unique shape, which is what you can expect from these Sam's bead boxes. You get so many unique shapes in every single box that come together in a coordinating palette. And we're already seeing a lot of that so far and we still have quite a bit to go through. We have two items in this next bag. We're going to be taking a look at a Czech B focal in garnet copper. It's a 17 by 21 millimeter. And then we're also going to take a look at a Czech pine cone in smoky topaz copper, a 12 by 24 and a half millimeter piece. I 
I wanted to hold this one up for you first so you could see how the light passes through it. Really cool check glass focal piece with this flat oval, bringing us some more of that rich red and the shiny copper metallic wash. And looking at it from the side, you can see that it's on the flatter side, but it has that detail, the pressed detail of the B on both sides with the hole running up and down the length. Here's that next piece also with the light hitting it and running through it. This is the pine cone in the smoky topaz copper. Again, with the hole that runs up and down through it, and this would make another really gorgeous focal. It's a unique pressed glass shaped bead. I haven't personally gotten one of these before, I don't think, not just in Sam's bead box. So it's always really interesting to me just how many shapes there are out there of these check glass beads. So pretty with the light going through there as I spin it around too. Looks like we have another focal in this next bag. This is containing a donut bead in red jasper. It's a 30 millimeter size with a seven millimeter hole. So we have another stone bead or component, and this would definitely make a really beautiful pendant. We have this reddish brown color with just some of those light striations that we're used to seeing in the Jasper. And if we take a look at the other side, you can see how that looks there. And I know that looks like a crack, but it's really not affecting the integrity of this piece, just in case you're wondering. So that's another example of a stone component that we usually see included in these boxes in various forms. Item number 12 is a selection of 200 pieces of amber topaz four millimeter check glass druck beads. Another very generous quantity and pretty much a handful of these honey colored transparent glass round beads, which they also call spacers. You can certainly use these to space out some of those other unique and larger shapes and add a pop of lighter golden color in between. Selection 13 contains a jungle glow mix of leaves. These are the 13 by 17 millimeter size and there's 12 pieces included. And as you can see, we have six pieces of one color and six of the other. There is a very beautiful jungle green color that I'm holding up with the hole that runs through the top of that leaf right through the face and has those veining details on both sides. And then we have that lighter honey amber color in this selection, also with the leafy details actually showing up on one side, but you can see them through the other side since they're letting a lot of light through. And we're gonna be seeing some more green show up, it looks like we have our next bag containing some green silk Picasso seven by 17 and a half millimeter check glass table cut ovals and there's six pieces inside. So we have this beautiful bright, almost chartreuse or lime green color with the Picasso that is around the edges. They're kind of in ellipse or an almond-like shape and the hole runs directly through the length of the beads. The front and the back give us that pop of color and then on the sides we have that more toned down finish that really frames out that beautiful, smooth and shiny, colorful front and back. Our 15th selection contains these saucer beads in the color olive. They're a two by five millimeter size with 75 pieces in the bag. These are another great option to use as a spacer since they're smaller. They would add a little pop of green in between some other larger beads, maybe some that are more opaque adding in some of these transparent green to let a little light through and break up some darker, larger pieces perhaps, but these have a lighter kind of fresh spring green appearance. And just like the name suggests, they are in this donut shape, a flat compressed round with that little hole that runs right through the center. 
Next, we have a table cut oval in Green Meadows Mix. It's a 13 by 19 millimeter table cut piece with one included. And there's a look at that beautiful, almost drizzled green tones going up through the center of that flat oval. And then around the edge, like we're used to seeing with the table cut, you see that more dulled down appearance, more stone-like finish, which really shows off the beautiful colors going on on the face and the back. And the hole is located right around there going through the length of the bead. Up next, we have one of these super fun bead mixes. We're used to seeing a lot of mixes show up, maybe at least one in these Sam's bead boxes. So with this one, it looks like we have what they're calling the house-made check glass bead mix in Lush Jungle. And it contains about 1.65 ounces of check glass in various shapes and color tones. And these are always fun to sort out. You get multiples of each shape and color in these mixes, so you're not getting a bunch of random odds and ends, but it's a great way to get other types of shapes and sizes and colors added into the Sam's bead boxes just in smaller quantities. So as you can see from what's in my hand, we have some bell flowers, we have some teardrops and some rounds. There's also various nugget shapes mixed in and I am going to sort these out and lay them out separately with the contents. That way you can really get a feel for what's included. So there's those contents laid out at the bottom. It always looks like a lot more when they're laid out like that, I think. So as you can see, that really adds six other various shapes and colors to this box that were otherwise just contained all together in one bag. Now up next, we have a bag containing some more check glass table cut beads. These are the ovals in the jungle mix, and they are the nine by 11 and a half millimeter size with 10 pieces in the bag. I love that combination. We've got these striped beads with the colors landing in pretty much the same sequence with that sort of root beer brown color. Then we have a creamy opaque white that lands mainly in the center and a light lush greenish tone on the other side. Of course, they are table cuts. So we have the smooth and glossy flat front and back that are set off a little bit differently with the addition of the finish around the sides. And they have the hole, as you can see, that runs through the length of the beads. Next, we can take a look at our check glass melon barrel beads in olive bronze, the 8 by 14 millimeter size with eight pieces in the bag. Another selection I want to hold up to the light so you can really see that pretty olivine color with those stripes of bronze metallic wash that settle into those details on parts of the beads. And there's a look at all eight of them included, giving us some additional olive green and some earthy tones to work with in another shape and size. Our next bag contains the Czech Glass Faceted Rondelle Strand in the Rainforest Mix. They're a 6 by 8 millimeter size with 20 pieces on the strand. I'll hold these up too since there's a lot going on, especially with the Picasso finish that adds a lot of that variation to the surface of the beads. Some of the areas are more opaque and some don't have as much of the finish, leaving them more transparent looking with more light passing through them and giving you more of a glimpse of that amber color at the base. But we also get those really interesting pops of greenish and gray and blue all coming from the Picasso finish over the top. These are a compressed round, of course, being a rondelle shape, and you can see the faceting that shows up around the widest portion of these beads. We also have yet another stone selection with the Fancy Jasper Smooth Rounds. They're eight millimeters, and this is a seven inch strand. I 
I think this is a perfect selection for this theme because you have those different shades of green, of course, that show up in this Jasper. And also you have the neutrals in all sorts of various tones. And sometimes you even see a little bit of reddish brown and even a little bit of mauve, really interesting varieties of colors that you see popping up in this particular stone, all of them being just a little bit different but coming together and coordinating so well with what we have below. Then we have a bag of about 20 check glass faceted bicones in green luster. They're an eight millimeter size. And these look like they have more of that angular faceting that we usually see with crystals. And there we go. That luster finish just gives them that hint of a silvery metallic cast that you can see under certain lights that sort of dulls down that olive green tone just a little bit more than it already is. These are cut beautifully and imitate the shape of the smoother check glass bicones in the same size that we saw earlier in that dark topaz. So I could see these being used together and looking really nice in something, for example. We have two more bags. This is our last bag of beads containing some check leaves. This is a 25 piece strand and they're called the Copper Wash Forest Fern Mix and they are a nine by 14 millimeter size. I wanted to spread these out for you a little bit so you could really see what they look like on the fronts and the backs of the leaves with their gorgeous coppery shimmer wash that shows up in the veining details and that more of a sage green look overall with some hints of a dusky blue that shows up in certain parts. Overall, really interesting and unique combination. And another generous quantity to work with. Another thing I really appreciate about Sam's bead boxes is how much you really get. And once you start playing around with all these things, it's amazing how much you can make from the contents. I have a couple videos that I've done in the past showing all the things I've made from just specifically Sam's bead boxes for the most part. And I'll try to link those in the corner. If you haven't seen those, maybe they'll help you with a little bit of inspiration and maybe get an idea or something that sparks from what I've shared in those. But going back to the leaves, you can see where the hole is located. It's going through the face of these leaves at the very top so that they drop down. Our final bag contains some metallic components. We have the Nun Design branded Tree of Life pendant in antique copper plating, and we have a Tierra cast oak leaf charm in antique copper plating as well. Beautiful couple of metallic components included. We usually see a few of those in addition to our check glass and gemstone selections. And this box is no different. We have some coordinating anti copper colored, very high quality findings. And there's a look at the back of that pendant. It has a very thick and substantial feel with a lot of detail. That darker background behind the tree really setting it off and that almost hand carved looking ring around the outside. And then our tiara cast, adorable little tiny leaf charm, which would look so cute, perhaps on a bracelet right next to the clasp, adding in a touch of metallic copper detail. So once again, I'm really pleased with the Sam's bead box. I'm always excited to dig in and see what's inside and see what beautiful things that have been put together for us and also that go along with a unique and different theme that changes every month. It's a great way to build up your stash of all different sorts of color palettes. And you don't have to just play around with what you see in one box. You can absolutely combine them with past boxes or things you might get in the future or anything else you have from your stash but they certainly do provide for not only a lot to work with, but an assortment of things that are really unique, some of which I don't see anywhere else, especially with the variety of check glass shapes. And you also get a wide range of different sizes with the coordinating colors and things, which really help you to put together multiple things and finish pieces directly together just from one box if you want to. So. I highly recommend Sam's Bead Box and definitely check out Sam's Bead Shop if you haven't already. 
I'll have the link directly below the video if you'd like to sign up. And don't forget you can use that coupon code ORCHID, which will save you $5 off your first box if you'd like to try them out. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a favorite item here that you see or anything else you'd like to say. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love to come back and show you finished pieces from the contents of boxes like this so you never know what will pop up in those finished jewelry update videos. Also give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful to take a close-up look at the contents. And feel free to share the video wherever you like. That's all I have for now. Huge thank you to you all for being with me again today. I hope to see you all again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. <laughs>